What's up guys? Thank you first and foremost for clicking on this video. Secondly, this video is proudly sponsored by none other than these guys, NordVPN. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, a service that protects your internet connection and privacy online. Why might you want or need a VPN? You can mask your location and browse in complete privacy. It hides your IP address, so depending on what your profession is, you can't get traced or tracked. With the ability to connect to servers all over the world, you'll never be geo-restricted again. If you're in New Zealand, like me, you can watch US TV shows and vice versa. If you're in the States, you can even watch good old Kiwiana. But not only that, Netflix, YouTube, live sports events, and social media networks. Whatever it is, whatever the country, you can access it. You can bypass annoying cookies and escape ad campaigns that won't leave you alone. The technology works by creating a network tunnel each and every time you surf the web, securing the data sent between you and your destination. They have a complete range of plans from one month to two years, whatever suits. They've always got new promotions running. At the moment, a two-year plan at 69% off works out to be $3.67 per month. That's just over 10 cents per day, guys. Go down into the description box below, click the link, check them out, support the channel. Happy days. Thanks, guys, and enjoy the video. If I had that body and all that stuff. His speed, his strength, his quickness, his flexibility. That's incredible. He's what, like 275, 28? I'm out. What's up, you guys? And welcome back to another episode of Rugby Player Reacts. I am your host, Jacob McDonald, and it's my absolute pleasure to bring you a Cleveland Browns player. An absolute beast. I'm not going to lie. Physically, I'm not sure about mentally, but uh, I'm hoping in this video we might actually put the pieces together and hear, you know, how he performs mentally. I know he had a bit of a, a brain snap, you could say, in the previous season. But we won't go there. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. We'll say that that was a one-off, and we'll just marvel at what he is capable of on that football field. Guys, his name is Miles Garrett. My name is Jacob McDonald. Thank you for being here. It's time we roll the intro and crack into it. Now, for anyone wondering, there really is no reason for me to have my hood up. It's basically just something different. I mean, when you have to make 100 videos and you're trying to put a, a unique spin on every single one, you do what you got to do. And today, the hood is indeed up. First person we're going to hear from is David Njoku. He's a Browns tight end, which means he is the man on the opposite side of the ball for the same team as Miles Garrett. Miles Garrett takes down tight ends. David Njoku tries to get past defensive ends, and also tries to hold them up so they can't get to the quarterback. Clear as mud? Well, let's start then. You, you, you get drafted in the first round, you, you think you're hot, you know, you're going against a, a, another first rounder, and he almost picked me up from the ground, and I was like, all right, I think it's time to start learning how to really block, you know what I mean? Because I can't get embarrassed like that again. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that brings me back to a, a pretty embarrassing moment myself, actually. Uh, there wasn't five million people watching, there was only five. But I still got picked up and thrown on my ass because I didn't know how to block properly. And that was by a man who was no bigger than me, but he certainly felt like it through technique and power. And a guy who has both of those in spades is Miles Garrett. One thing I haven't been able to get over in this video series so far, seeing as he has been involved in a lot of the interviews, is the width of his shoulders. But not only that... The thickness of his arms. We're talking Dwight Howard shoulders and we're talking Mr. Olympia arms. Plus running back speed. Plus power lifter strength. Need I say more? Miles Garrett, man. Freak. Freak of nature. Freak. Absolute he's an freak. incredible player. He's, he's got every tool that you look for in a pass rusher. I mean... <laughs> Bless him. He does what he wants. When he puts his hand in the ground, he's coming after you. When you get to see Miles Garrett's ability up close and personal, you either hate it or you love it. Uh, obviously, he's an A&M guy, so I gotta love that. You know, he uh, just kept going. I don't think I set it up. I just, uh, I just looked at him. I was like, I'm just gonna run by you. <laughs> it seems nothing can stop him getting from point A to point B. And he makes no exceptions for A and M. Tannehill couldn't move. He was paralyzed as he just couldn't get out of there. 
out that waist, I started slinging them down. I was like, hey, no, you're Aggie. No, I love you, but <laughs> I can't I can't be left with no sacks on my return. That's just it. That's what it is. So that must have been his return game against the Titans after after a suspension due to a bit of a brain snap. If I had that body and all that stuff. His speed, his strength, his quickness, his flexibility. That's incredible. He's what, like 275, 28? I'm out. I thought Chase Young was impressive. I thought Tristan Wirfs was impressive. But I ain't seen nothing like that. Jumping like that? I wish I could do that. Oh, <laughs> Lord. I'm in disbelief. We have to watch that again. The girl in the background is like, what did I just witness? There is no way you expect a guy who's this big to fly like that. All right, let's watch this. Oh my gosh. There is some ridiculous power in those legs. That's incredible. He's what, like 275, 280? Jumping like that? I wish I could do that. <laughs> Come to think of it, I think I have seen Miles Garrett do a windmill dunk. And there's no surprises. There he is! He's going down, they got him! Miles Garrett does it again! He's that guy that can just take over a game if you're not double teaming him, if you're not sliding to protect oh, Can you imagine being a quarterback standing in the pocket with Miles Garrett coming at you? You better hope your tackles do their job. <laughs> to him it can be a very long day for your offense there's only a few i'm going to say it right here right now having looked at you know a fair few tackle stats and looking at how many sacks they allow or how many hits on the quarterback they allow and some allow you know a few some allow basically hardly any you're going to want either one of those shutout tackles or you're going to want them to play a career best game when when you're going up against this fella you had three Steelers that had a shot at him and none of them were able to pick him up. I've been watching him this offseason, and he's been playing a lot of basketball. Yeah, I like I reckon I might have seen one of those clips. Not that one. He was running the other way. But it was just as impressive. Is that Shaq or is that Miles Garrett? He's gay, man. Yeah, he's a big guy. Upside guy, too. With that speed to power that you, you can't stop that. You just can't. That boy, he terrorizing people. <laughs> you know the muffin man. Don't see me on feeling. My legs on jewelry line. The muffin man. The muffin man. Do you know the muffin man? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The muffin. He had a strip sack and recovered his strip sack, you know, all in one play. Sack lunch, right here, sack lunch. To be parallel from the ground, running full speed. Ball, ball, ball. He's out of this world. As soon as I How on earth did that happen? Sorry guys, got something in my eye. Always happens just at the wrong time. Ah, oh, it's these bloody contact lenses, I tell you. Parallel from the ground, running full speed. Ball, ball, ball. He's out of <laughs> What? Who kicked that up? The ball got fumbled, it hit the ground, he spun the quarterback around. In that motion, the quarterback somehow kicked it up, and Miles Garrett gets credited with a strip 360 spin sack. As soon as I got about two steps forward, I'm just bending the edge. I'm not going for the, the big hit, really. I know he has the ball ready for me. So Strip, 360 spin, that. set. And the fact that he doesn't go for a kill shot on the quarterback, his first instinct is to always go for the football. Hmm? Number one edge guy. Me. What do you say? Number one defensive end. Hmm? Number one edge guy. Me. Right. Subtitles. What? No, number one. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll get this. I'm going to have to put uh, my head up question. to the... Uh... Number one edge guy. Oh, okay, it could quite possibly be number one edge guy. Hmm? Number one edge guy. Me. Yeah. Uh, Silly question. We deciphered it. The number one edge guy. Is it him? It could quite possibly be. You're not, not going to get this... You're not going to get that combination of uh, genetic traits very often um, in fact you know hardly ever I would say
But what we have here is the, you know, epitome of God-given genetics, a combination of God-given genetics. But not only that, you know, those genetics were recognized. He played the sport of football and now he's at the top of it. And before we go, I'd be doing you guys a real disservice if we didn't at least read through what his measurables are. He's six foot four, he's 275 pounds. He was the first overall pick in the 2017 draft. He's been at the Browns ever since, and to see that he was brought into the league in 2017, that makes me think that he's most probably just signed his second deal, which I, you know, I hate to think how much it's worth. So let's just go down slowly and, and finish this off with just how much he's earning per year at the moment, because I mean, surely. He'd be a $100 million man. He runs a 4.64 on the 40-yard dash. He's got an arm length of over 35 inches, which is, I'm going to say, the longest we've seen. A hand size of 10 and a quarter inches, which is up there with the biggest. The biggest hands currently in the league, for anyone wondering, and the biggest hands of all time, are owned by DeForest Buckner. He has a hand span of 11 and three quarters of an inch. So he's up there. A 41-inch vertical jump, which we saw before. A 10-foot, 8-inch broad jump. A th 33 reps on the bench press. And he's got brains too. He's got a Wonderlick score of 31. So as we scroll down, the Cleveland Browns selected Garrett with the first overall pick. He became the highest draft pick from Texas A&M in history. On May 19th, 2017, he signed a fully guaranteed four-year $30.41 million contract, which is extremely good for a rookie deal. He was named a defensive captain for the 2018 season and was ranked number 49 on the 2019 version of this top 100 list. So 2019 was, you know, a, a tumultuous year, you could say. He didn't start it off well at all. On September 28th, he was fined a combined $52,639 for three fouls, a face mask hit, as well as two roughing the passer fouls. In week 10, sorry, week 11, was the hit on Steelers quarterback Mason Rudolph. Garrett pulled Steelers quarterback Mason Rudolph to the ground after an admittedly late hit. Rudolph grabbed and tried to pull off Garrett's helmet and was held there after Rudolph threw a screen pass to running back Trey Edmonds. After getting back up, Garrett forcibly removed Rudolph's helmet. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine Miles Garrett at the, with the size and strength that he has? Forcibly removing a helmet from a quarterback. A couple of Steelers offensive linemen come in to, to hold Garrett back. Rudolph gets up, goes towards Garrett, and what I'm led to believe happens is Garrett at this point has Rudolph's helmet in his hand. Rudolph goes back up to him. Garrett goes, you know what? No, this ain't happening. And slams Rudolph's own helmet down on his own head. Now, I know what it's like when a contact sport gets heated, all right? I'm not going to say I've done this, but I have witnessed brain snaps in the world of rugby and American football. And this was one of those. Following the strike, a fight did ensue, and, you know, the rest is history. Uh, I think the Browns quarterback, Baker Mayfield, called Garrett's action inexcusable, which absolutely sucks for the locker room, while then Browns head coach, Freddie Kitchens, expressed embarrassment. G Garrett later apologized for his actions, which he described as foolish and out of character, while at the same time thanking those players who backed him up. The next day, the NFL suspended Garrett indefinitely. He eventually missed the remainder of the 2019 season. And he was also fined an additional $45,623. And, you know, if nothing else, I don't know where they get these totals from. Garrett appealed his suspension on November 20th, but it was rejected. Months later, before his reinstatement hearing, Garrett alleged for the first time publicly that Rudolph directed a racial slur at him. And guys, with that, we call it quits. Now, what I really wanted to know was not about that. In fact, I apologize for spending so much time on it. I, I wanted to know just what a genetic freak in the NFL like this, the first overall pick of the 2017 draft. And it seems he is indeed a $100 million man. 125 million, in fact. He signed a five-year, $125 million contract extension with the team on July 15th, 2020. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of another video. And to be honest, as I attempt to sum up all of what we've just seen, I kind of feel like Jarvis Landry did, and I feel a little bit speechless. There's really nothing I can say. I mean, to see this man in action, in person, would be a dream. For now, all I can offer is a Josh Cribbs jersey. I hope all my Cleveland Browns fans out there, you know, appreciate the camaraderie. They appreciate Miles Garrett, and they appreciate the effort I'm putting into this video series. So guys, if you are in either of those three categories, hit that like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you, and good night.